Federal court records spell out nearly a $1 million health care fraud ring tied to opioid drugs being sold illegally. Law enforcement sources confirm a Wednesday morning search conducted at the Book Cadillac downtown is tied to a major investigation involving pills allegedly sold illegally on the streets. They say among those charged is one man living in a permanent residence within the building. Unsealed federal records say the scheme funneled money to dirty docs, pharmacists and recruiters, targeting addicts and fraudulently billing Medicare and Medicaid. It's crazy and see, you know, I have ongoing medical uh, problems and with pharmacies like this, it makes it hard for, you know, people like me to get pain medication. Delane Bostick lives near Heritage Pharmacy on Telegraph in Redford Township, where indicted alleged co-conspirators Hassan Saad and Ali Keblawi worked. We paid them an unannounced visit. But no one answered. We then called the business and again, no answer. Fed say also indicted conspirators Latasha Neely and D'Angelo Stevens recruited people to pose as legit patients to help sell drugs for profit. Retired FBI Assistant Director Dan Roberts says victims of this crime include anyone paying taxes and relying on federal programs. Prices of health care goes up every year and part of that cost is because of fraud like this. A massive problem across the U.S. He says the Bureau and its partners have been busting crooks long before this case getting back to June 2020. What is it that draws people to commit this type of crime? Well, certainly it's the uh, dollars that are involved. You can get, uh, as I said, billions and billions of dollars out of these systems nationally. I was on the intense radiation and chemo, and I had to pay $90 for one prescription, and I couldn't afford it. For real-life patients like Delane, nearly 30,000 pills allegedly sold illegally have had a crushing effect. Drugs like oxycodone, oxymorphine, and Percocet that families against narcotics say are destroying lives at a staggering rate. It's this kind of behavior that perpetuates this horrible epidemic that we're in. We're, we're losing 93,000 lives a year to overdoses, and this kind of despicable behavior uh, is adding to that problem. Robert says every day FBI agents are working hard to recover funds that have been stolen, but because so much of it changes hands by way of cash, it is very hard to track. Simon Chaykat, 7 Action News.